Hi everybody. Uh, Carta Track. Carta Track was created to help the artist to extract uh, a 3D position from uh, your uh, 2D position point and to bring tracking back from 3D position back to screen space. To make it work, as a minimum, you will have uh, to have uh, your camera which is tracked to the plate and you must have undistorted plate. Okay, cut the track, uh, as you see, he's offering you from beginning that you have a camera and great match move. Let's say you don't have geometry, you don't have board position pass, and you don't have a certain card in 3D space. Next thing uh, that you should set is your scene size. My scene size is approximately 10 units. So I will analyze my footage and I will pick certain points that I can see in few places of my screen. Of course, on the object that I want to track. In this case, I want to track this film roll and very nice point is this red dot. So let's just pick it on the first frame. You see this picture? Just bring it there, position it properly in the middle. So and press here set right now we found the 2d position of this card but if i will go forward as you see my grid starting to go away okay so let's bring it back by pulling rz to the right position okay we're getting closer and i will set my position i know that it's approximately 5.3 a little bit more 5.4 maybe okay as you can see uh, right now we did extract uh, tracking from this point and also we have a rotation information but we are we're not ready yet so we see that 3d position is right and uh, we happy with that and uh, we can start adjusting our uh, rotation of our uh, cart Okay, let's scale it down slightly. It's too big. Let's go to other frame, have a look. Okay, it does look pretty decent. Okay, ready to go. So just pressing go, press OK. Uh, four nodes created. Okay, first of all, the card, which is exactly in 3D space uh, as um, we calculated. Uh, usually I'm creating this node just as a backup, so if camera will be changed, we always can recalculate again our um, our nodes. Next one will be CV project, which is just corner pin with the exposed controls that we just want to use. I will show you what actually can you do with that. Okay, so I connected my undistorted play to it. Um, as you see, my reference frame is 200, which means on 200, we're identical. We are identical. Okay, so right now I can set it to stabilize. So you can see that we did stabilize our sequence to this roll. Press stop. Uh, next, we always can put motion blur, shutter speed, and uh, and so on. Uh, if you want to see your uh, missing knobs from corner pin, they're here. And that's also a quite fast way just to get an uh, overview on your uh, curves and uh, on, on your tracking. Um, your uh, corner pin will be by default cropped to a certain area with a certain overscan. You always can change it or, and you can also uncrop it so it will use its own bounding box. The problem with the uncropping that sometimes your bounding box can grow pretty much. The problem that co comes if you're cropping it's inside of the gizmo, it's losing the concatenation downwards. It always will have concatenation upwards, but you're losing your concatenation downwards, which sometimes you, you will want to preserve. Uh, next explanation and uh, next note will be uh, roto. So we did create the uh, rotor, which is already tracked to this uh, to this film roll. So we just can stand on any frame and paint whatever rotor we want. It will be already tracked. So that's my first frame. I'll go to the, my last frame. 
and as you see I need approximately three keyframes and my roto will be completely done for this shot okay back to carta track uh, sometimes we have additional elements in the shot that can help us to calculate 2d position from 3d position okay in this case in the beginning we had only camera but let's say we have something else as a geometry in this case we have a lidar scan of the object i will connect it to extra tab we, as you see, it's set to geometry, and we see wireframe of the geometry. I will just pick my front. Uh, let's check that I'm there. Okay, I will pick my front roll, and I will say set. Immediately, grid did jump to the point, and as you see, if I will just disconnect myself uh, from geometry, it is already tracked to the point. From now, we just need to adjust our size and perspective okay uh, next one will be a wall position pass if we have rendered a element from 3d and this element contains world position pass uh, for example this role uh, we have uh, some uh, simple render Okay, we will extract wall position pass with the shuffle P. Okay, and we will tell to car to track. Sorry, P. and we will tell to car to track that we're going to use wall position pass. Set our picker on the element. Press set. Grid immediately jumps to the place, and it's already tracked to the element. So we're just adjusting our size, rotation, and we are ready to go. Okay, let's check that we've got uh, our uh, track. As you see, yes, we did. Okay, uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Ciao.